Hey there, everybody. This is Lee Stranahan. I am here at the offices of Citizen Journalism School. And uh, I want to give you a, a, a real quick hint about what I use for a word processor when I do my writing. I am always shocked when I see that journalists are using Microsoft Word to do their writing. And the reason why is that Microsoft Word is obviously the war horse of word processors. It's been around for decades, but it's way too big and bloated. It's not really the right tool for the job, in my opinion. As a journalist, I want something to be fast, to load up quickly, and flexible, and not put a lot of junk in my way. And by flexible, I mean, as a journalist, what do you do with your work? Well, you might output it as a blog post, in which Microsoft Word is way overkill. Because if you think about it, what do you need for journalistic post, right? You need to be able to put in plain text, italics, bold, headers, you know, section headings, uh, block quotes where you quote something or somebody, um, and links. That's about it, right? Microsoft Word has way too much stuff for that. It's got great tools to do stuff like indexing. And if you're doing a, a thesis or a term paper or something like that, it's good. But for regular word processing, it's way too much. And that's why, and these guys aren't a sponsor. This is just what I actually use. I use a tool called Ulysses. Now, one word of warning here. This is an Apple-only product. That means it'll work on your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone. But uh, it doesn't work on uh, Windows. So if, you, if you're a Mac user you're in good shape here. If not, you're out of luck. But there might be other things that you can use that use what's called Markdown. What is Markdown? Markdown is a way of defining the text in a document using simple tags. And the best way to show you is to show you. Let me show you. Here's a Ulysses document. And when you look at it here, it is not attractive, right? This is not a good looking document. But I want to call your attention, see this little single hashtag here where it says populist.tv news roundup, then two hashtags, headlines, three hashtags, politics. If we go down three hashtags, domestic news, foreign news, right? These are markdown. And see the dashes here? Now, this looks ugly, but here's what's cool about Ulysses. This is one thing. There's a lot of cool stuff about it. But here's one of the things that's cool. I can output it to a variety of different formats. So for instance, let me just drop this down here so you can see it a little bit better, okay? I can output it to plain text, to HTML, to EPUB, that's like a Kindle ebook if you wanna publish your own book, PDF format, and DocX if I wanna bring it into uh, Microsoft Word, or I can publish and I can publish straight to a blog or to uh, a Medium post. This is very useful. Now, let me show you how this looks. So let's say I want to output it as a PDF. What's cool here is when I hit preview, see these ugly tags? Watch what happens. Look at that. It's converted the first tag into a headline. This is a subhead. This is another subhead. And it's converted all these dashes. Look at that. Now, watch. Exact same document. Here we go. Let's output it again. Let's use a different format here. I'll use a different style. And now, it would look like this. Let's try a different style. Let's try a different style. You see what it's doing? Is it's taking the basic text and showing you that it can output it in a whole bunch of different ways. This is what's cool about it. And it's the same thing if we output to HTML, where, uh, let me just show you. Here's how it would look as a blog post. By the way, you can do stuff like add photos or you know images you can add all of that stuff in here. Let me just take a look at EPUB here, right? Let's preview that. How would this look as an ebook? Now you notice again the centering's different, the font is different. It added this little 
thingy, not to get technical on you, but this little thingy here, it shows you the different ways that you can output things. And so what, what's really awesome about this is that I can keep my, uh, hang on one second. There's me. So what's really awesome about this is that I can keep the text in this sort of pure markdown format. And then from there, I can go anywhere I want to with it and style it any way I want to without the bloat of Microsoft Word. Again, this is what I use every day. There's a lot of great advantages of it. If you're interested in learning more, don't take my word for it. Go check out ulyssesapp.com and read about it yourself. Uh, but again, comes highly recommended uh, by me, and it's really what I use in my work every day. That's your Citizen Journalism School hint. Remember, at citizenjournalismschool.com, we have a lot more. I go into detail about the workflow that I use, uh, and we even show you how to write and how to research, how to find the words to put into the documents that you need. Because remember, the document itself is not that useful without good words, and that's what we'll show you how to do. And accurate words, that's the key to journalism, accurate. Most people forget that. But we don't forget that at Citizen Journalism School. Anyway, that's my hint for the day. That's Ulysses. Till next time, I am Lee Stranahan, and this is your Citizen Journalism School free mini lesson.